So I'll just start because I know this is a quick 15 minutes. I was lost downstairs. Hi, my name is Carla Campos. I'm the founder of Entrepreneur Moms. And I've been doing website design and development and marketing since 2009. I started my own company. I go to different schools and I um, teach kids about entrepreneurship, just you know, building online websites and kind of getting them started on how to go the business route because kids could be very distracted, right? <laughs> my kids were gonna come today. Oh, they were gonna come today, but of course they had football, they had something else. With kids, it's always something. So what I like to say to people is really talk to your kids and find out what they like to do. You know, kids are very entrepreneurial without us telling them anything. Uh, my kids go to their school and they, they're selling slime, they're selling this, they're selling that, and you know, within each other's communities, they sell stuff behind our backs. <laughs> you know, they're like, where's your video game? Or where's that book you had? And they've traded it with like 10 other kids. It's already, you know, they're very community oriented. So the first thing I like to do is tell kids to, you know, just find out what they like to do. Um, anybody here have kids in programs that teach them web development or design? Is this like your first time that, is this your first word camp or kids camp? Yes, how do you like it so far? <laughs> what have you learned so far? Anyone, you could raise your hand. <laughs> yeah, right there, I'm gonna call on you because I see you. <laughs> a podcast? A blog. So you were creating blogs this whole weekend. How is that going for you? Good, what is, what is your blog about? Oh, so you're like in the process of working it? Okay, cool. Anyone else? Any other kids here? How about you? Yes. Here today um, or yesterday? And what's your website about? They can switch toys with each other? So are you charging by any chance or it's free? What are your thoughts? Are you gonna plan to make it a business? Are you just it's for fun? What are you thinking? You wanna make it a business? Very nice. So I think it's about having these conversations with the kids. You know, uh, what do you wanna do? And guiding them. Having a, who here has already created a business plan? Anybody? Yes, okay, so parents, anybody have a business plan or anything or? Nope. <laughs> so maybe that's gonna be a recommendation for next year's WordCamp, how to create a business plan if they haven't done it with the kids, how to take your idea from fun and exciting into a plan of business. So let me get my presentation on here <laughs> and let's go. So, like I said before, <laughs> when our presentation wasn't up, my name is Carla Campos and I've been featured on Entrepreneur uh, Magazine several times for my different courses for kids and adults on entrepreneurship. So it's not a one day thing. This is pretty much an introduction. We can't do a whole business in 15 minutes. It's just kind of getting you to think about where you go from today and what's your next step. So we definitely talked about business plans and we talked to some kids, as you saw, about just like what, what are their ideas, where are we going with the idea, let's make it into a business. So this is uh, Mosiah Bridges, a 12 year old founder who founded Mo's Bows. Um, let's see. So he started a bow tie company and three years ago and he already has 150,000 in sales. And this is Joe Jarvis, who is a five-year-old entrepreneur. 
and he runs a successful garbage business, right? So why are these kids having a business and making money and not your kids, right? And it's usually because of the parents. The parents are the ones who help the kids get through the barriers of entrepreneurship. If you think as an adult, it's hard to have a business. Imagine being a kid with all these rules and regulations. So they need definitely, these kids don't do it alone. The parents are there, you know, pushing and signing and being the adult manager of their kids and their business. Because of course, you know, if he's doing something like garbage and going outside in the public, it can be dangerous for a kid. You know, kids are not at that level where uh, mentally where they can just do everything themselves sometimes. So as a parent, you know, definitely, I'm sure his parents are watching what he's doing or have somebody watching, he's not alone outside. And then Madison Robertson sold over one million flip-flops. So are you guys getting ideas out there yet? This is for the kids. Are you getting ideas for your blog yet? Or what do you like, by the way? Hmm? Robotics. robotics. Are you in any robotics classes? So that's kind of where your focus will be. Mom, did you know he likes robotics? Are you into the robotics too? No? <laughs> A little bit? How about that? Are you dead? Okay. Well, congratulations, young man. I hope. A lot of success on your journey. <laughs> so an entrepreneur is a person who starts a business and is willing to risk loss in order to make money. Okay, just definition. And entrepreneurship is living a few years of your life like most people won't, right? Some people live out of their cars. Some people mortgage their home. If you're serious about something, right, you do what it takes. So a lot of times when people are hungry to be entrepreneurs, there's a lot of what I call sharks out there in the sea, right? People who offer help and know that you really, really want this dream, and then they take advantage. So a lot of scam artists out there. So it's good that you guys have come here into a community where you can meet people, trusted people, and be guided in the right direction. So there is no weird business, right? A lot of the times, um, this is an exercise class where they made these space boots, what they, I call space boots, they're like jumping boots. And probably the person, when somebody comes to you, hey, I made up these space boots, we're gonna jump on them. Some people might think, hey, that's crazy. That's just crazy talk. So there is no weird business idea. You know, see a need, fill a need, find a need, and create a product that satisfies that need. So why not your child? Entrepreneurship is a mindset. So with anything, it's always in your mind, right? You're gonna hear a lot of no's from people, like before the slide before, you're crazy, it's not gonna work. And sometimes, yeah, you do have to take that constructive criticism and say, okay, it's not working here, it's not working this way, what do I do to change that? Because as we saw before, those kids are selling flip-flops, which to some people is like, that's crazy. That's you know, but they're making money, so it is definitely achievable. So we talked about what does your child like? If he's into robotics, what can we do to create a business? Maybe he doesn't want to create a business. Maybe he wants to be part of someone else's business in robotics. And it's just, when you're with children, it's just going along that process with them. They're gonna change their minds constantly, you know? I still change my mind constantly. And we have three minutes. <laughs> So what does your child want to be when they grow up? It's about really having these conversations with the children. What do you want to be? And they might tell you a fireman. Take them to the fireplace, uh, the station. Talk with the fireman. Get that process going. Because they can like being a fireman, but if you kind of ignore it and don't take it to the next degree, they're going to be distracted by the next thing, the YouTube. They're going to be distracted by the neat new toy, whatever's happening in school. So it's up to us as parents to lead them and say, oh, you like do we want to be a fireman? Okay, let's play with some trucks. Let's, let's, let's go to the next step. So the next thing you have to ask yourself is what industries are hot and needing workers, idea, the innovative solutions? Okay, so doing your research to really see, okay, he likes robotics. Robotics is actually a really hot topic at this moment. So cool, let's take him into that environment. Let's see what's needed in that environment. It's always about seeing what is needed and how you can create a product or service 
that helps that need. So I think I'm almost out of time. Does anybody have any questions? You have about five minutes for questions. Oh, five minutes for questions. Five Any questions? Any anything in, interesting from the kids? That's what I would like. Yes. So when, like when you set up a business for, you set it up as their name, or do you set it up as a business entity? Um. Oh. Okay. Okay. So her question is: Do you name the business after the child, or? Uh, an adult, it says 18 on that website, yeah. So you can definitely use their name, but the adult has to do all the same. Did I repeat the question? <laughs> the question is, if you have to register a child, a business of a child on something like sunbiz.com, does it have to be you or the adult or the child? Anything that has to do with legal issues has to be a person over 18. So definitely, you're the one, but definitely make them sit there with you and you know, learn the process because eventually they're gonna have to do everything on their own, right? That's what we're aiming to do. Anybody else? Yes. Okay, so her question is, do we have to keep in mind child labor laws when kids are working their business? I think as parents, we have to do the best we can just to kind of you know, we're not gonna, re they wanna work, we're not gonna stop them, but we also have to moderate. Hey, okay, son, <laughs> get your sleep, you have school, to balance that life out. So, you know, I'm not definitely not gonna stop my child from working where he wants to work. You know, kids are in hobbies, working whenever they want. So it's just a matter, you know, they're making their own money, I'm not forcing them. So that's how I would handle it, but definitely you wanna keep the law in mind if, you know, if someone asks you and it's illegal, then I would just plead the fifth. <laughs> you know, I'm not putting myself in jail. No. <laughs> Anybody else? Any other questions? No? All right, well, have a wonderful work camp for the rest of it, and I'll see you guys around. <laughs> Take care. Thank you.